this will be a video about why you should try and uh, try and give anime a shot if you never watched it before uh, by taking a look at my journey into watching anime and funnily enough I used to I, I often say that it was Game of Thrones that made me watch anime and that sounds weird, right? So uh, let's take a look at how I got to this place where I started really enjoying anime. I used to find it pretty cringe. I thought anime was just... It was like it is half naked cartoon characters just running around and screaming and yeah so i didn't know that much about anime so uh, let's take a look at how i started to watch it i guess i guess um, i kind of started uh, in my childhood and uh, i got a nintendo when i was about seven i think and later on i got ocarina of time and like looking back it was at that point i really started to love getting immersed in a story and especially the fantasy setting of ocarina of time and like the characters the world and everything just almost like being there uh, i was always a football kid but at the time i was playing a Karino time i would not play football uh, at school in the breaks i would just talk about a Karino time all the time um I, I, i've never really been into books but i'll come back to it later uh, but um, the min pins uh, by Roald Dahl was a book that really fascinated me when I was a kid. I used to look at uh, pictures from the book and of course read it too, but I just found the book really fascinating and especially the artwork too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think uh, when I grew a little bit older, Blizzard uh, need they really need to have a lot of credit for both increasing my love for fantasy uh, through games like uh, Diablo and Warcraft I love those games and also um, also uh, science fiction um, through Starcraft Brood War I absolutely love that game and not just the gameplay of it uh, but uh, the story was fascinating to me and it was really mature for for the time i think uh, i felt like i was being respected as a teen uh, when they told me those stories um, but um, not really the same time but during those uh, days for lack of a better word, um, uh, the Lord of the Rings came out, and I and my cousin showed me Star Wars, like the all the three old movies, uh, and I also watched Blade Runner. And I realized that like fantasy and science fiction, and like the worlds, uh, the worlds are great. Is something I really, really love, and I would, uh, I would continue watching a lot of stuff, a lot of movies, a lot of, uh, a lot of movies, a lot of series. Um, but at one point, uh, it started to feel a bit stale. Uh, I feel like uh, Hollywood had a recipe, and most uh, pieces of fiction were just following that recipe. And what? changed that uh, was actually Game of Thrones. Uh, I absolutely loved Game of Thrones. It it felt refreshing and unpredictable and it respected my intelligence. Uh, 
as a viewer and I really really love that um, so and I told you that I don't really read books or at that point at least but I bought all the books in uh, the Song of Ice and Fire series and like read it in one summer and but I needed more and uh, my brother would always recommend me anime, but I, I had this uh, prejudice uh, against it, so I just dismissed it. But I needed more shows like, uh, like Game of Thrones, and <laughs> and I just Google it like uh, shows similar to Game of Thrones, and one of the and the one at the top was Attack on Titan, and. I th I think the first season had just ended at that uh, point and I was like eh, let's just try it and the first episode and it was just this is made for me I love this it it's so great and I guess that's where my journey into anime started and just a tiny Digression, um, I, I had watched anime before when you, if you count like Pokemon and Digimon, but not really as a, as a non like kid show, I guess, uh, if you can call Digimon and Pokemon that. So I watched Attack on Titan and finished it and loved it and but I needed more, right? So I had so much. I, 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 it was like digging into a whole new world because I wasn't familiar with anime titles. So I looked into like, I think Death Note, Full Metal Alchemist, Code Geass, Steinsgate, Psychopaths, and absolutely brilliant shows. And I was thinking, why did I wait that long watching anime? It's it's amazing. And also, like the, I loved Game of Thrones because it was like dark. And uh, I found Berserk the ninety seven version, and I absolutely love it. It it maybe the show that's perfectly tailored tailored to my tastes and. I followed up with Claymore, that's also pretty great, like the ending is, yeah, but uh, it was really cool and um, it made me dive into older animes like Evangelion and uh, Lane and, um, and Ghost in the Shell and absolutely blown away, it's just interesting concepts and how they told the story and Evangelion is, is maybe my favorite piece of fiction of all time and actually and, uh, and as a side note uh, I also watched uh, pretty early in my journey um, Sword Art Online and yeah it, it, it's easy to criticize the show but the first time I watched it at least uh, like the start of the show, it was, it was like as a gamer uh, and incorporating like fantasy and uh, game, uh, game mechanics. It was just so, um, so cool to me. So uh, shows I mentioned so far have been pretty action packed, I'd say. Uh, but I tried to, I want to expand a little bit and I watched Violet Evergarden which absolutely blowed me away. Uh, like the music, the animation, the stories being told, the characters. Um, it got me into checking out other genres like uh, more slice of life and even romance that I don't really watch or read or anything romance, but it, yeah, it's hard to explain, but I 
like a lot of anime romance, actually. And it surprised me. And here comes, like, now I've told my journey, uh, and uh, I think if you love fantasy or science fiction or both, you should give anime a chance like I did, because there are so many great stories and co interesting concepts being explored in anime. And uh, I, I just think uh, you should give it a sh fair shot and not be like me uh, or like I used to be. I, imagine if I missed out on free run. I, that show is just something else, man. Uh, absolutely adore it. And, um, and yeah, I think I finished what I had on my mind. Uh, I do not really make any videos, but I, I just have, I have explored so many stories now that I have a lot on my mind that I just need to and I get out there and I recently finished, uh, I don't really read manga, but I finished the Berserk manga and let's say that I need to, <laughs> I need to let out some thoughts. Yeah. So, uh, hope it was interesting. Bye bye.